Hello, Googleization Nation, and welcome to Culture and the Future of Workplace Culture, a GGG Unleashed podcast with thought leaders, Human Works 8. I'm Ira Wolf. And I'm Jason Cochran. In each of Human Works 8's episodes, we will cover practical insights, tips, and executable activities to get you thinking about the future of culture development in your organization. Let's begin. Welcome, friends. My name is Sean Gallius, and I am the Thought Catalyst with Human Works 8. And you're listening to Culture and the Future of Workplace Culture, part of the GGG Geeks, Geezers, and Googleization Unleashed series. And let me tell you, once I am unleashed, it'll be hard to get me tethered up again. So I hope everyone joins me each and every month as we think about culture and culture and people culture and strategy, culture and teamwork, culture and mattering. If you're a culture geek like me, I want you to join me in wondering about what's ahead to build strong business cultures that spark engagement and align people around shared values and purpose. I hope you'll leave every month with some new thoughts and some tangible tools to guide your cultural journey and aid in bringing aliveness to your organization. Are you ready to bring work to life and life to work? I am, so let's go. So today, I wanna talk about and share with you some thoughts around your cultural compass. Everyone I think is familiar with the rather, these days, vintage artifact known as a compass. Its goal was to provide navigation and orientation, a, a sense of direction for any kind of traveler, whether that's by land, by sea, by air. My question to you this morning, is what compass-like tool are you using to set the direction for your organization's culture? What framework is giving you confidence that you're taking purposeful action to impact and move your business culture to your organization's unique, true north? What is that foundational philosophy at the heart of bringing culture to life? Well, you may be thinking, we have a PowerPoint, we have a plan, that speaks to this culture, but is that enough? Remember, culture lives and grows whether you take purposeful action or not. It needs a solid foundation. And I, I truly believe that business cultures need a foundation of principles to set their course of action. And PowerPoint promises may sound good in the moment, but they tend to turn into sort of random acts of culture and they don't have staying power. So today, let's think about your cultural compass as you move forward to elevate and strengthen your cultural discipline and practices. Expand your focus though, from those four points we know on a compass, north, south, east, west. I want you to double that today and think about a philosophy that Human Works 8 uses and that I've thought about really well as a foundational compass moving forward. What if your cultural belief system included what I call, not the four, but the eight? And here they are. Everyone's unique. Everyone believes. Everyone connects. Everyone contributes. Everyone rises. Everyone learns. Everyone thrives. And everyone matters. Let's consider each one of those compass points with a little more detail, starting with everyone's unique. I believe strong cultures start with individuals believing in and bringing their best self to work each and every day. What are you doing to focus your culture on that element? Organizations must understand all three parts of each of your team members and individuals' mind, their cognitive ability, affect, and their cognitive instinct. So everyone in your culture has the freedom to be their true self and do things their way. Plus, are they valued for their unique contributions to an organization's overall talent canvas? So that's the first point on the compass. Everyone's unique. The second, everyone believes. At the foundation of thriving businesses are gutsy, unique, and action-oriented core values that guide decision-making across all your people touch points. But I also believe around everyone believing, strong cultures consider not only those business values, but also each individual's personal values. Cultural energy comes with the alignment between the two. And that's your second compass point. The third is everyone connects. 
An organization is most effective when relationships are built on trust and collaboration, where the active pursuit of team synergy is an imperative for success. Organizations focused on building high-performing, hybrid teams right now today that focus on this connection will set their stage for success and growth. The fourth compass point, everyone contributes. This is all about effective communication. I think all of us know that's at the heart of how successful organizations operate, and it supports an environment where all voices are valued. Strong communication practices provide clarity and direction and accountability. That has to be a directional point on your compass. The fifth, everyone learns. Strong cultures champion people and their need to develop, learn, and grow. I believe to the future, how can you create a choose your own adventure approach to learning where each individual forges their path to expand their capabilities and their knowledge. That's where everyone learns and the fifth point on our cultural compass. The sixth, everyone rises. These days, more and more organizations are trying to simplify and clarify their strategy and planning. That pushes accountability at all levels through a living and adaptable approach to this business way. Have you clarified your business way? How can you take the necessary steps to align and create a clear line of sight for every individual's work and role to the greater vision of why your business exists in the world? It's the sixth point on the compass. Everyone rises. The seventh is all about wellness. I always think about wellness from four pillars, purpose, balance, nutrition, and movement. The compass point is everyone thrives because workplace cultures that value and prioritize individual well-being have healthier employees, but I would also say that, that leads to healthier bottom lines. The seventh point on the compass. And how do we wrap that eighth compass point? It's everyone matters. Organizations must consider mattering and belonging as key elements for engagement and relationship building. Every human is equal and equally capable if set free in a cultural environment of caring, understanding, and empathy. So we went from north, south, east, west to eight points on a cultural compass. I believe it's a cultural compass for the ages. What if your cultural compass utilized those eight points to help you develop a roadmap and direction for what's ahead? What if you could link all your actions to one or more of those eight? Wouldn't that be a framework to provide confidence across your organization? I recommend starting every year this year and every year by prioritizing your organization's greatest cultural challenges and needs based on those eight. How can that be a focus and foundation in which to build your actions? Because remember, this culture stuff is a living thing. It breathes, it grows by what you allow, by what you reward, by what you celebrate. I always say culture can be a sun or it can be a shadow. So I started the image today around the compass but I want to wrap around and end with an image around a garden because growing your culture is like a garden with eight different plots. Each need time and attention and different levels of action based on the challenges and needs of today to support what you want your culture to be tomorrow. I'm hoping today I planted the first seed for you to consider because culture is what culture does. You may have heard that before. Don't let it be random actions. Align it around your unique cultural compass so your direction is always sure and true for your organization's vision of tomorrow. I look forward to every month focusing on a new culture and topic. And I hope, hey, you'll listen to me here, but reach out to me on LinkedIn or at Sean at humanworks8.com. And if I got you wondering about culture today, around this cultural compass, I encourage you to keep the conversation going on LinkedIn through my Wondering Wednesdays posts and dialogue. Each Wednesday, I share what I'm wondering about around leadership, around culture. And sometimes it comes from a client challenge, sometimes a leadership question, or just something I overheard in a team meeting. Come wonder with me, and I hope to see you next month on Culture and the Future of Workplace Culture. 
And that's it for today's episode. Thank you for tuning in and learning about the future of workplace cultures. We'll be back next month with HumanWorks 8 for another episode. But until then, please visit their website for additional resources at humanworks8.com. Until next time, don't let the shift hit your plans.